what's going on everybody it's ETA Prime back here again today we're going to be taking a look at Steam Deck OS running on a brand new Ryzen 7000 series mini PC known as the UM773. Now this is coming to us from Menace Forum and it's definitely a great performer because this is actually powered by the brand new Ryzen 7 7735HS APU. We've got 8 cores, 16 threads, and a clock up to 4.75 gigahertz. In my previous video, we just tested out Windows there. If you're interested in checking that video out, I'll leave a link in the description. But in this video, we're going to be testing out Steam OS 3, otherwise known as Steam Deck OS. And in order to get this installed, we're going to be using a variant of this operating system known as Hollow ISO. Unfortunately, Valve hasn't released, you know, a full desktop image for Steam OS 3 yet. But some awesome developers have taken it upon themselves to kind of rework the Steam Deck's recovery image. That way we can install it on different systems. Now at the time of making this video, it definitely works much better when you're using an AMD GPU. And lucky for us, it actually works really well with integrated graphics. And that's exactly what we have here with this mini PC. If you're interested in learning more about Hollow ISO, I will leave a link to the GitHub in the description. It's actually really easy to install and you can test it out on your own machine if you want to. Now real quick, I did want to give you a look at the internals of this mini PC here. It's actually really simple. For my uh, drive, I opted to use a 2TB Aorus 7000 series NVMe SSD. We've got dual channel DDR5 SODIMM RAM. And unfortunately, with the UM773 at the time of making this video, I cannot overclock the RAM. So this will be running at 4800 MHz. I've got 32 gigs here. It would be really awesome if we could overclock the RAM here and it would really up the performance. The last generation mini PC that Menace Forum released was known as the UM690. It was powered by the Ryzen 9 6900HX and if you're a regular viewer of the channel, you know I was able to overclock the RAM up to 6000 MHz, which really unlocks that iGPU performance. But unfortunately, with the UM773, it's kind of locked down in the BIOS right now. And if you're not familiar with this new chipset or even this PC here, I wanted to give you a quick rundown on the specs. For the CPU, we've got the AMD Ryzen 7 7735HS. This is still based on Zen 3. It would have been nice if uh, AMD went Zen 4, but uh, we still got 8 cores, 16 threads, a base clock of 3.2 GHz with a boost up to 4.75. CPU performance here is phenomenal. When it comes to integrated graphics, we've got the Radeon 680M based on RDNA 2, 12 CUs at 2200 MHz. For all of my testing, I'm going to be using 32 gigabytes of DDR5 at 4800 MHz. And when it comes to Linux on this machine, I mean, everything just worked right out of the box. It's still based on Zen 3 Plus, so we didn't need, you know, a major driver update over there for Linux. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and the 2.5 gig Ethernet on the rear all work. All right, so here it is. You might notice that this does look a bit different and that's because I've actually installed some plugins here. It does work with Hollow ISO. Unfortunately, Power Tools always crashes on me, but when it comes to like CSS Loader to kind of change your Steam Deck theme, we can use it right here. As you can see, definitely looks a lot different. I think it just adds a lot to the operating system. But uh, real quick, let's head over to the settings and I'll show you here, system. Ryzen 7 7735HS, we've got the built-in Radeon 680M graphics running at 2200 MHz, 8 cores, 16 threads. We've got 32 gigabytes of RAM, and this is only running at 4800 MHz. Unfortunately, this BIOS is locked down. I cannot overclock this RAM. I really wish I could. And I've just dedicated 4 gigs of VRAM, but obviously it's going to use more if it needs it. We're working with an APU here. Overall, UI performance here is great, and if you did want to head over to desktop mode, you can do it from here. You can switch right to desktop, but uh, we've got a few settings. We can turn on the overlay, just like we would with the Steam Deck. We can set the frame rate, and when you're connected to a monitor that supports it, you can actually enable variable refresh rate. And uh, we've got system-wide FSR, so if you did want to turn this on for some games, which, you know, it may be required for something like Elden Ring, you can do it directly from here. But yeah, overall, really decent performance here out of this Ryzen 7000 series APU, and now it's time to get right into some game testing. And the first one here is Cyberpunk 2077 900p Steam Deck preset. Looking really good. And with that Steam Deck preset, it does set FSR to auto. I believe it goes to performance, you know, given the uh, power this APU can put out. But it's still really awesome seeing this run over 60. We're actually getting an average of 71 FPS. Yeah. 
Next up, Spider-Man Miles Morales 900p low settings. In the past, we'd be really hard pressed to run this, you know, anywhere close to 60 at 720p, but with all of the updates to Proton and the game itself, we're getting great performance on these APUs. And you'll see this, you know, when we're up in the air, this will go up into the mid 80s, but down here at street level, we're getting an average of around 68 FPS. Here's Doom Eternal, and this is one that's always run really well in Linux using Proton. 1080p, medium low settings, we can get an average of 78 FPS out of this game. Not quite on par with the uh, 6900HX and that overclocked DDR5, but it's getting real close. God of War 720p original settings was hoping by now with, you know, driver updates and game optimizations that we'd be able to run this at 900p or even 1080 low settings. But unfortunately, even at low here, we're getting about the same frame rate as the original preset at 720. But when it comes down to it, we're getting an average of 64 FPS, and I'd say this really isn't bad for integrated graphics. Next up, we've got The Witcher 3, and with this game here, I usually get really great performance in Linux, but recently there have been a few updates to the game itself that kind of uh, prevented me from going up to 900p and 1080. To tell you the truth, I don't know exactly what's going on here. It wasn't the major update that enabled DirectX 12 and FSR, but for some reason, with a lot of the APUs I've been testing for the past couple weeks, I've just not got great performance with The Witcher 3. Elden Ring 720p low. We know that this one is really not optimized for these APUs. And with this, I actually enabled system-wide FSR and still, even at low 720p with FSR turned on, we're only getting an average of around 54 FPS. I really wish the developers would do a bit more optimization when it comes to these APUs. But the final one we have here is Horizon Zero Dawn 900p low settings. We're getting an average of 73 FPS out of this game. And keep in mind, with everything that we tested here, we could go up to 1080 with all of them if we lock it at 45 FPS. And with this uh, Steam Deck OS or Steam OS 3, we do have the ability to kind of lock that frame rate right on the fly. So overall, I'm seeing some really great performance here out of this mini PC when it comes to SteamOS 3, and I really do wish we had a way to overclock the RAM here because adding something like even uh, 52 to 5400 megahertz RAM will help out with that GPU performance. I've been doing a little bit of research. I'm trying to unlock the BIOS myself so I can get some overclocking done, but you know, if I could go up to 6000 with it, I do think that this would beat out the 6900HX, and right now that's the most powerful little APU that I've tested on the channel so far. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. Really appreciate you watching. Let me know in the comments below what you thought about the performance here. I know we're still working with that uh, Radeon RDNA 2 iGPU. And as soon as we get the newer RDNA 3 APUs, I'll definitely be doing a lot of testing with Windows and Linux. And speaking of Windows, if you want to see the Windows performance that the UM773 can put out, or if you're interested in learning more about this mini PC, I'll leave some links in the description. But that's it for this one. Like always, thanks for watching.